He is closing in on race leader Kyle Busch off of turn number four, six laps to go for race leader Kyle Busch. For second place, Cameron Haley. Suarez still deep in the field as they go back to turn one. Oh, trouble up in turn number one. Oh, it's John West Townley around and into the outside wall. Driver's side first into the safer barrier. Now the truck begins to creep down the banking. And now about three drivers have to take evasive maneuvers to avoid John West Townley, who got turned coming into the corner with damage on the right front of his Chevrolet. So John West Townley's hopes for winning his way to the chase tonight. A cropper on lap 144 with only six remaining, a record ninth caution of the night here at Chicagoland. And we'll have less than five laps to go when we go back under the green flag. Suarez, who restarted in the 18th position just a couple of laps ago, made his way up to 13th. But will two or three laps be enough from the well, what will be now as they cycle around here at the start finish line from the 11th position for Daniel Suarez? Gained a lot of ground. But we'll, uh, I guess we'll have two or three laps of racing to go. Can he do it from 11th with those four fresh tires? I, I think the ground that he'll gain under this caution flag may be counteracted by the fact that he'll lose a couple of laps of racing time circulating here under the caution. Still going to be very, very difficult. I think if anybody's going to unseat Kyle Busch tonight, it's going to be the two guys right in his rearview mirror, either Cameron Haley or Daniel Hemrick. And if Cameron Haley wins this race, he'll be locked into the eight-driver chase, thus bumping Timothy Peters, who you mentioned a moment ago, a great recovery. That team, that Red Horse Racing team, two laps down earlier in this event uh, for repairs on the pit lane, battled his way back, took the wave around, got the free pass on one occasion, and has raced his way back up to the 12th position. Right now, as far as points go, that's enough. Unless somebody new wins, that's not Daniel or uh, Daniel Hemrick, who's already ahead of him in points, or himself. If Cameron Haley, or Tyler Reddick, or Spencer Gallagher were to win tonight, Timothy Peters would be bumped.